because of serious face on just after I hit record. Hello everyone, I'm Ventomania and this person here is... Mr. Begred. Yeah, so we're here because obviously internet is flooded with rumours and um, reports and everything to do with an individual who has basically wrecked uh, a leg. So um, we would like to set the record straight that Alan Price does have a partially torn calf. He cannot compete. He will be losing his place in the Northern Ireland Wrestling Connection, so unfortunately that is the way it goes. Um, we are looking for replacements, so if anyone wants to fly over here and take his place, that's fine. Um, what are your thoughts on this travesty? It's devastating, because just as soon as we're about to record the very second episode of NIWC, this happens, but you know, that's what happens in you know, life. Yes, Injuries indeed. hit us when we least expect. So Alan, heal up, get well soon, and you can fight for your place back at the as the internet correspondent in Northern Ireland Wrestling Connection. But um, that aside, obviously, um, I was out with Chris today, and we were talking about WrestleMania and stuff, and I went, yeah, but CM Punk could get injured at any time, and then lo and behold, <laughs> I did say that, though, did I not? You did. I did. And credit. So, so it was me. It was me. You called it. It was me. But the basically, the whole world can blame this on you. This yeah. is your fault. Yeah. I low, I chop blocked him. That's why. So obviously, CM Punk and I um is having knee surgery. You would have seen the total non sub attitude as uh, put up a video very promptly, um which you've watched and very entertaining video. Great bit. Yes. Thanks for the shout out too. Yep. <laughs> um and uh, yeah, so obviously now it's a case of what happens. Um, with TLC not being this Sunday, but the Sunday after, isn't it right? Uh, I've yeah. really been keeping up to date. <laughs> Brilliant, well done. Um, it's a case of just seeing what happens now. Are they going to take the title off him? Um, because there always is that, you know, that rule to do with they have to defend it within 30 days, otherwise they get stripped of it. Whether it's a case of, you know, they'll maybe do a money in the bank kind of style thing. Ryback wouldn't be in a main event because he wouldn't be there, so... We were just talking about what Ryback could do instead there, and uh, he seemed to have a little interaction there with Hell No and The Shield on Raw, so what we were thinking was potentially they could, uh, if Punk is indeed going to be out of action for a while, they could have Ryback team up with the likes of Hell No and go up against The Shield, and that would give The Shield their first big pay-per-view match and uh, you know allow them to do something big um, in WWE at a pay-per-view, no less. Mm -hmm. But who would you put in the money in the bank? Obviously... You well, if Ryback's there... Oh, you, you mean if they actually go ahead and actually have an actual money in the bank, man? How many actuals were in that sense? How many actuals? <laughs> so, obviously... Too late at night, Chris. You really Chris. record too much. Yes, yeah, much money penny. Just get on with it. <clears throat> um, so, you would probably have the likes of Wade Barrett. Well, not Wade Barrett, because he's in the Intercontinental. So, you'd probably have Miz. Whether you would move Cena and Ziggler into that match. I'm not sure, though, they're actually going to do that. I don't know what they'll do. I don't know what they'll do, but... Obviously, if Ziggler was to do a cash in on the likes of Punk, then Vicky would need to come up with some sort of excuse to allow Ziggler to cash in on the WWE champion. Because as you were saying, obviously, yeah, he gets happened. the SmackDown Money in the Bank uh, yeah. case, which obviously is intended for the big show. Um, so it'll just be interesting to see how they handle the whole situation. But yeah, I mean, it does completely bugger up the plans. I mean, we were reading a report online there that says that. Uh, there's no time scale at the moment for his recovery because they just don't know until the actual surgery is performed. Um, so obviously that could bugger up Rock and Punk at Royal Rumble, which of course would be devastating because it's a match which you know we've been told about since Raw 1000 in July, and I think it's a match that everybody and their grandma wants to see. Yes, I haven't asked my grandmother, so unfortunately <laughs> I wouldn't know because you'd probably say CM who. Um, CM Chump. Chump, yeah, in, indeed. But yeah, it really is just bad timing. I think everyone would agree. But so long as he's back in time for Mania, I think, you know. I think that's probably where we could see if Rock is to be the champion and he, whether he fights in the Elimination Chamber, because this would probably be the first, this would be the first Elimination Chamber that Rock's ever been in. Correct, yeah. Um, so whether he comes through that unscathed and then it's him versus Punk at Mania and then we say maybe Cena and Rock at Rumble. Yes, and then you'd have, as you say, Punk and Rock at Mania, which I think yeah. a few people have actually been talking about that recently. Like Mr. Chaos Hill, I think, has mentioned that too. What is up, guys? Um, in a lot of ways, I think Punk deserves to face Rock at WrestleMania as opposed to the Royal Rumble. You know, you kind of think Punk and Rock is almost bigger than the Rumble, if you know what I mean. Yeah, because you want to have it on the grand stage of them all. Exactly. You know, like, no... 
disrespecting the Royal Rumble. It's one of the, the best pay-per-views all year. And it would be a great draw for that event, but it just, whenever you hear that match, it's kind of almost like an Austin pop yeah. match that everyone wants. You know, it's the kind of match that would be worthy to, you know, headline and close a WrestleMania. So it could actually work out a good thing in the long run, you know, if that was to be the ultimate uh, conclusion, but just remains to be seen how they handle the situation. Yeah, because if he's having knee surgery... You know, like, I think it's will probably take him out for a good couple yeah, of months. It's not something you just recover in, in a couple of weeks. No, so. it just depends on how you... I mean, you look at footballers, you know, whenever they're having knee surgery, how long they're out for. Um, fair enough, they're running for 90 minutes, but I don't know. I don't know what they'll do here. But if we get to see Rock versus Punk at WrestleMania, that'll make me a happy camper. Um, Chris was saying that maybe Mick Foley will be champion. Um, Worst things could happen, eh, Chris? Not from that, no. Um, so uh, if that was that, then I would blame CM Punk for, for, for that. Well, it looks like your first WrestleMania shape went up to be the card of a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not as bad as, like, what, WrestleMania 16 or... Was it 23 that was pretty shoddy? 25, sorry, that was 25 awful. 25 was shoddy. Yeah, so um, as long as it's not as bad as WrestleMania 25, then I'll be happy enough. Um, another thing while we're here is that... Um, Obviously, you would have seen our Northern Ireland Wrestling Connection video, which is, if you're on YouTube, obviously you are because you're watching this, is capital N, capital I, lowercase connection, and then capital letters WWE. Um, thank you for everyone who has watched the videos. We've had about 300 hits in each video. Which, which is uh, fantastic, yeah, isn't which it? Is, uh, Something to actually to be proud of, I think. You yeah, know, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like you're scratching yourself there. Um, it doesn't look like you were scratching yourself? No, I went like that. Okay. Actually, you look like that okay. like spider bites or something um, yeah so uh, thanks to everyone there who's su subscribed and um, watched the videos um, we're planning to hopefully do the next video this coming Saturday so if you have any ideas or what you would like us to cover please leave them in the comments below or you can send us an email at, what is the email? <laughs> couldn't even begin to tell you well you can send me the email you're the leader you should do these I things I know well it's, it's late at night I just up. show up and you tell me what I'm doing oh uh, you do nothing anyway sure excuse me why I did get credited <laughs> for something in that uh, the credits thing I can't remember what it was something useless like costume designer or some shit <laughs> swearing on my channel oh, sorry <laughs> disrespectful <sighs> Vicky um, he said excuse Vicky. me he said excuse oh. me that's why. It's um, so you can send me an email at vento316 at gmail.com or you can follow us on Twitter which is nimania29 and just leave us there what you would like us to cover and uh, the person who gets um, obviously if we're covering it um, will give you um, a DVD from the two that we've actually got. Um, which, is that um, right? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Or from Vinter's extensive collection here, because he doesn't want any of these DVDs. I'm fed up with wrestling, so basically it's like a house fire, so every, everything goes. Silver, everything goes. Silver Vision is clear night, and so am I. So, There's some nice bits and pieces there, guys, I have to say. Yes, yeah, so if you want to make me an offer, um, I'll just tell you to get lost. So, um, <laughs> be doing that. Um, and, uh, so long as the Kane DVD survives that, that will survive, that's, yes. That's, that's actually up high in case there's like, water damage oh, on it. At least you're... Taking all the precautions. Yeah, so, necessary. um, just got a message there as well. Um, so I'm trying to read it here, <laughs> yeah. but I can't. <laughs> yeah, well, you thought that the calendar says December, says November. Um, oh, so you're distracted by imaging that? Yeah. Um, do you want to plug your challenge? Challenge? Channel? What do you hear? I suppose I could. Uh, Mr. Big Red 1990 is the channel. If you want to check it out and uh, press the sub button, that would be uh, much appreciated. But, uh, yeah, Mr. Big Red, uh, Twitter is Chris Hill 90 uh, feel free to give me a follow if you'd like. I'll follow you back. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Very biggie. Uh, Filter 316 for me. Obviously, you won't follow back because he's mean <laughs> like that. No, I won't follow back. I uh, don't have the time. No, that's if you send me a message and say, I watch your video and I'm following you, I will follow you back and say thank you. What a privilege it would be to be followed by you, yeah? <laughs> well, worse things could happen. I can't think of you know what those worst things would be, but if you say so. Can you follow all on Twitter? Alan's very entertaining on Twitter. Is he? Alan G.W. Price. Or uh, Haley the Tiny. Yeah, they're all more entertaining than you. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah. Um, obviously, you would have seen in a couple of videos that people were doing plugs and stuff, so we've done that. So, obviously, 
uh, to follow the trends, um, uh, Mr. Chaos Hale or Mr. Lowaldo95 on YouTube or uh, WrestleBuddy as well. Is it WrestleBuddy or WrestleBuddy1? WrestleBuddy1 on YouTube and it's just WrestleBuddy on Twitter, but she's our favourite Australian, so definitely feel free to check out her channel. Yes, uh, and say, get on, mate. Let's put on all this shrimp on the body. <laughs> I hold that had old chestnut. But I think we've kind of... What? Chestnut's roasting on open fire. Well, I suppose that's Christmas time. <laughs> yeah, so in your face. Uh, so that's going to basically do it for our second um, video with us too. Um, have you not? You know, we've sat in the same chairs. I was going to say, if you not noticed that it was different chairs, but that's whenever you said. This you know, you're getting desperate when you're talking about the chairs. Okay, yeah. give him the chair. <laughs> um, so that's going to do it for us. So uh, we'll say goodbye. So say bye, Chris. Cheerio, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.